Hello and we're back in Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Yes, I uh, rather screwed up the sneaking, but... Oh. oh no, he's saying we've lost us. I'm just here. That works for us, yes, because uh, <laughs> this section is a bit... I, I don't know if you would say a bit or a lot easier if you can simply sneak through it. Well, actually I was thinking more, it's just more entertaining. Okay, so we want to be careful, wary. And, oh, we even get another sneaking tutorial. Yeah. Let's visit the man who was trying using sleek mode to assess the route again and study enemy patrols. So, yes, um, I'm not playing this as, like, a master class or anything. I'm not fantastic at it. We do all right. But I can get through it. <laughs> so that last section was terrifying. And actually, I tend not to use sneak because it makes you so slow. So I tend to uh, just crouch. Okay. But we can crouch and then we can go, there's a guy there. Yeah, so this is crouching mode. When you're actually sneaking is when you have sort of the blue bits around you, if you uh, if you don't remember. Yeah, I like that. Yes, the blue bits. Well, blue, white, grey, whatever they look like to you. What it actually kind of reminds me of is the sneaking in Amnesia, which they possibly got it from this. Do I mean Amnesia? You probably mean Amnesia, yes. Thinking, no, it's in Penumbra as well, unless it started off in Penumbra. Well, to be fair, they're both by the same people, yeah. so... So if it came from this, I could see how that would work. And I think they said this was an inspiration, or people said it was... I forget which. Yeah. But um, it certainly seems like an inspiration, doesn't it? <laughs> so I think we can go up on those boxes to our right, but we're making sure no one's going to come down this route or something. Shame we can't jump and crouch, if you see what I mean. I was sort of like, yeah, because you'd kind of be able to. Oh dear, they've seen us. But I think we're at the end of this room anyway. Oh god. Does someone see me from above? Oh, right. Um, hopefully they'll go like, I've lost him again. That would be cool. Yeah, I think they are. Why are they still shooting at me now? No. Oh no, just go then, run for it. Why can't I stand up? There we go. Because you were underneath something. Just like it. Don't let it get away. Spread out. Yes, they're rather hell bent on stopping us from leaving at this point. And sort of a he has seen too much just shoot him. But they don't seem to be coming out. Spread out. Oh. Search the area. Spread out. I'm thinking, are they still going to come at me when I'm down here? <laughs> it's good grief. How are we doing? Are we injured at all? No, no, we're full health. We are healed, we are healthy. I thought we would have gotten shot or something. There's lots of them off the roof. It's got to be somewhere in there. Spread out. Start the floor. He's hiding somewhere. Oh dear. Yes, saving might be an idea. But yes, by the looks of it, we've now made it so that everyone is aware of us. That we're hiding. Unless that is always like that if you manage to sneak out undetected. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't sneak out undetected. I think we always see you. So we or perhaps be... I'm just not skilled enough to have seen <laughs> that. Who knows? I'm not sure the skill is oh. important. Yes, the leaning does actually come in a bit useful for taking stock of your area. So you can see there's a couple of people. They do sort of patrol routes. We just want to take it easy. Figure out where we need to go. Which I presume is just over there. Well, we need to get out. Yeah. So that's the target. There's two people to our left there. What, those? Yeah. yeah. Looks like there's only one guy on this side, though. We sneak behind him and to the left, maybe. Yeah. Don't look. Do not see me. <laughs> oh, 
and then here we want to look out into this open area and see because there's a guy pacing over there yeah but I suspect we want to go across the way and then down there maybe maybe just to the next set, set of boxes over there yeah oh, there's a guy there I know Yeah, so it does sort of do the, the actually quite modern multi-genre gameplay type thing. We've got sleuthing and talking and RPGing, but also sneaking. And we'll also even have a shooting, I think. Oh yeah. Hence why we were picking up ammo earlier. So it's uh, actually quite a sort of a thoroughly thought out game, you could say. Lots of our uh, furry friends down here. Yep. Underneath the floorboards. I just have this sudden urge to um, contact Otacon by call. <laughs> it does sort of remind you of uh, <laughs> which which Metal Gear is it that you do this a lot in? Well, the the snake and rats have a have a history. Yeah. In one and four, especially explored. Oh. oh going mad. Oh, probably don't need to go back there. Am I going mad because of the rats? Do you think? Maybe uh, he doesn't like rats. Possibly. It also might be stuff buried under here that shouldn't be buried under here. You never know. Oh, the fact that people are walking above us. That's kind of freaky yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, everyone's chasing you. You would be sort of terrified. The rats kind of look cute more than anything. No, they don't. They've got red eyes in this. They're like, they? Yeah, I think anyway. I mean, rats in real life are quite cute, but... <laughs> These are supposed to be your, your evil sewer nightmare rats. Well, not fancy rats. Not fancy rats, no. Well, so we've got a ladder up. Let's see where it takes us. Hopefully somewhere less fraught with danger. The trapdoor is stuck. That's a shame. Curse it! Lost him! Live in the dial somewhere! Get the front door open! Search the alleys and streets! Shit, this order really wants me dead. I'd better watch my step. So it looks like there's something to, that. to push there, yeah, for sure. And there. Okay, so where can that go? What's that? It's covering up. And that's out. covering the door. Eldest the hinge side. must be rusted. I can't close it. See, this is why in real life I walk around with a, a little, um... Little kind tin of, of WD-40. stuck. Well, GT-85, but I wanted to say WD-40 because more people would recognise that. <laughs> a set of account books. Mechanical lubricant, if you're wondering what any of those mean. Date back 20 years so for all the so, people who know what GT-85 is, hello box. fellow cyclists. So <laughs> anyway, we'll move this. Yeah, we can shove this bootcase out the way at least. First things first, so to speak. Yes, it sounds now like the town is widening the search for you, so you won't just be able to walk around outside. Why can I push this so far? And does it serve any purpose to have it all the way over there? I don't know. Yes, we are- oh, we've changed chapter as well. It's no longer a visit to Old Town, it is Attack of the Fishmen. Mm. That doesn't work still. No, it still doesn't work. Oh, it's used to being able to hit enter. Why do you have to click it specifically? But, uh, yes. The... We only really caught a little bit of a glimpse of it, but when we saw a wom the woman sleeping in the bed in the hotel, if you actually look at her, she doesn't look like a person anymore. Which is kind of the point the game is getting at. Also, it's supposed to be a brief view. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to sort of be like... You're running in horror, your bl vision is blurred, you don't know what you're seeing. Oh, and a brief aside, but you know the Matrix? Yeah. You know how in the Matrix there's that scene where he runs through the kitchen and to your other left, and then like the woman like throws a knife at him because she's turned into an agent? I reckon that was inspired by this. Because <laughs> it's got loads of sequences that are like from Ghost in the Shell and, and other anime, so it makes sense that it got some stuff from the good old Call of Cthulhu dark corners of the earth. Yeah. Should we go through? Yes. All right. So the people that that we saw in the vision were the ones that were all standing here, and they've now legged it. Yeah. So I think we'll just be able to sneak out. It won't budge. There's a door on the opposite side as well. 
course it'll be that one, won't it? <laughs> so we want to keep low. Sorry about that, there's some lint stuck in the mouse. Keep low, play it calm, we're cool. Panic. <laughs> no. Oh. This. Panic, panic, panic. So he's still there. It's only the people on this side that have ran off. Oh dear. Should I just stay here for a little bit? Just stay there for a little bit, yeah. Because we could hear his footsteps. We can hear that he's stopped. Yeah, he's just there. And now he's gone. So yeah, we can see the door on the other end over there is open. Should also look to our left here, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's someone outside with a flashlight. Do I go out and then left? I'm really not sure. No. Am I safe here? Am I safe anywhere? Don't think we are safe anywhere, What year is it? Who's the president? <laughs> it's 1922. Oh, not left. <laughs> up there. Go up there. You sure? Seems a good place as any. I like now that it's raining as well. Sorry, I'm absolutely terrified that those... It's so tense. Um, you can die so, so easily there. If we tuck ourselves in these boxes, actually, it might be a good place to leave it. Because we are out of time. Okay. So we'll see you again <laughs> in the next terror-filled episode of Sneaking Around. Bye-bye.